Hello. We are starting the hard stuff today. We're going to have our introduction to logarithms. And after that, we are going to be entering into the world of weird. Logarithms are like nothing you've ever seen before. A lot of it you're just going to have to accept. Rather than trying to translate between our world and the world of logarithms, just give up. Enter into the world of logarithms. Live by those rules. Think by those processes. And then when you come out the day of the final, you get to be human again until your next math class. <laughs> so let's get started. To begin with, we're just going to do calculator work. Just get used to logarithms as another thing you can do on the calculator. No big deal. The first problem is the LN of E. You're going to start learning more about this tomorrow in the next video. But right now, we're just going to do this like we don't have any idea what we're doing, because many of you don't. And we're just going to find the ln of E. Please remember that E is a number. It's just a number like pi is just a number. E is a number that's about 2.7. OK, really close to three. So it's no big deal. Here we go. Ellen is right here. What? Come on, get bigger than that. Ellen is here, right there. Ellen stands for natural log. And when I press it, I get this on the calculator. Now the letter E is very hard to see. It's above the division button right there. So to access it, I push the second button and then the division button. And that gives me E. Now, you see how the parenthesis is open? We have to close the parenthesis. That's great. And now I hit enter. And here is the answer, one. Tomorrow you'll find out why the ln of E equals one, but for now, just consider it your calculator answer. And you see over here that indeed, that is the answer we're looking for. Now let's take the log of 10. Here's the LN button, and right above it is the log button. <clears throat> right here. Okay, so I'm going to click on log. And then 10. And then close the parenthesis. That's all there is to it. Then I hit enter. And you can see over here what the answer is. But there it is, one. You'll also find out why the log of 10 is one. You'll find out why the log of 10 to the negative three is negative three, and why the log of the ln of e to the negative one is negative one. You'll find that out tomorrow. But right now, we're just doing the problem. So now let's go to log of 10 raised to, so I click on the caret button, negative three. Now, watch this. I want to close the parentheses, but look what happens if I try to close the parentheses right now. Now, that will not work. Okay, I have to go back and hit delete. 
Now, hit the right arrow key. That brings the cursor down. Now you can click the parenthesis and everything works fine. Enter. Negative three. Right there. So the log of 10 to the negative three is negative three. Now we're going to do the same thing with the ln of e raised to the negative one power. And now don't, don't close your parentheses yet. Hit the right arrow key to bring your cursor down. Now click the right parenthesis key and hit enter. And the answer is negative one right there. And so you've met the LNs. This means natural log and log, that means logarithm. All right, so natural logarithm and logarithm. Now we're going to answer these questions. And here are the answers my calculator gave me. In your homework, you're going to be asked to round to four decimal places. So you're going to have to round. Please round carefully. OK. Log. There's the log key right here. Log. 59, close parentheses, enter. There you go. You just get a number. Log, logarithm, L-O-G is the logarithm function. Here's 59 in the argument of the function. Think F of x or f of 59. The only thing is our f has three letters in it, L-O-G. Other than that, it's just like f, just a function. Eventually you'll get used to it. Let's see what's next. The log of 78. OK, log 78, close parentheses, enter. Here you go. Now, the log of 0 0.808, 808. Log 0 0.808. Eight, close paren, enter. Negative 0 0.9258, let's see, four decimal places, one, two, three, four, that's negative 0 0.0925, followed by an eight, the eight will cause the five to round up to a six. So this, the answer, that I would put in my math lab for this would be negative 0 0.0926. Ah, here's an LN, a natural logarithm. The LN of 26, close parentheses. Let's move this up so you can see. This is a cool picture, look at that. The walkway was was actually built around the tree limb of uh, the the tree uh, stump. It's not a stump, of course. It's the actual tree. Okay, but anyway, back to the LN of twenty six. Enter. There you go. Three point two five eight zero. There you, there's your fourth decimal place. The nine next to it will cause the zero to round up to a one. 
So your answer would be 3.2581. And then finally, the last one, LN 8.99.4, and you can see what the answer is right here. The LN of 899.4, LN 899.4, enter. Okay, let's move on. We now are going to use the change of base formula. So let's yeah, move this over here, kind of bring it in like that. We're going to be using the change of base formula. And you'll see what that means. On these. OK. Um, trying to drag this down a little bit, but it's not working, so that's OK. It's all right. See if I care. All right. Um, when we have a base, and an argument. Here we didn't, and you'll find out tomorrow about this. Actually, you'll find out in the second video. This is the first video. This is still the first video. Log base three of 40. What are we gonna do about that? Well, we're going to use the change of base formula. And here's the change of base formula. Let me clear. And let me make this bigger so you can see it. Log base three of 40. So log, I'm going to take the log of 40 divided by the log of three. And this will give me the answer. Log of 40 divided by the log of three which is the same thing as log base three of 40. Enter. Now let's use it here for log base six of 0 0.08. That will be log 0 0.08, close parentheses, divide log base six, so log six. That's all there is to it. Enter. Now log base seven of 90. Log of 90 divided by log seven. And there's your answer. Well, 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 what is all this base business? You're going to learn about that in the second video. But I might as well show you something kind of cool. I'm going to click on the math key. And I'm going to come down farther than this with the down arrow key. to A, okay? That's called log base. Enter. See what it does for you. Now there's a place where you can put in the base and a place where you can put in the argument. So let's go back to the beginning, log base three of 40. I'll put a three here, then hit the right arrow key and a 40. Then hit the right arrow key again. 
Now we have log base 3 of 40, just like this. Enter. So why the heck did I bring up the change of base formula? Because not every calculator has log base. What do you do if you find you, your calculator or whatever calculator you're using doesn't have log base? Then you better know the change of base formula. But if you want to use log base, here's how you get there again. You click on the math button, math. That gives you this, this menu. Come all the way down past nine to A. And that'll give you log base if you hit enter. And now let's do this, and that will be it for this video. Log, uh-uh-uh, no, Barbara, you messed up. Delete, there you go, now. Log six, log base six of 0 0.08, right arrow key, enter. And there's our answer, the same as above when we were using the change of base formula. Okay, I'm gonna close out this video. It's gone long enough. The next video will be much more difficult because you're going to have to understand some deeper things about logarithms. And that will take thinking, not just thinking, but deep thinking. Not super deep, but kind of deep. So be glad you had this as your introduction. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.